everyone, and welcome. It's Wednesday, so that means Crock-Pot Wednesday. So let's get our Crock-Pot out because we have a good Italian dish for March 14, 1942. Today was a beautiful day, and we were at Lancaster to get a coat for Marion. Fanny Grove. Today. I love bringing to you a crock pot recipe every Wednesday. And today, we are going to make out of this cookbook the Fix It and Forget It, the big cookbook. And this is crock pot meals. We are on page 491 and we are going to make crock pot lasagna. I thought it's a beautiful day to make lasagna. We had some fresh snow last night, so we're going to get started. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to saute my ground beef with a little bit of peppers and a little bit of mushrooms. And then I'm going to take my homemade pizza sauce and I'm going to add the ground beef to the homemade pizza sauce. And I'll come back to you after I have that finished and we will assemble our crock pot. All right, in the meantime, while all right, in the meantime, while the sauce is cooking, we are going to add the cheese part of it. So it calls for 2 cups of shredded cheese. ahead and read to you the directions. Mm, it's so good. Okay, so it calls for four and a half cups of spaghetti sauce and one half cup of water. So you add the water to the spaghetti sauce, which I don't think I'm going to do that. 16 ounces of ricotta cheese. My grocery store did not have ricotta cheese because I went to the discount grocery store, but my daughter used cottage cheese instead and she said it made no difference whatsoever. So, 16 ounces of ricotta cheese, 2 cups of shredded cheese, they call for uh, mozzarella, but I use cheddar, 1 egg, uh, minced garlic and Italian seasoning. So I'm going to use the 2 cups of the cheese, 1 egg, now it calls for 16 ounces. This is 24, so I'm not going to use the whole container. And it calls for Italian seasoning. I have my own, which you know what I like to use. I use about a teaspoon of that. And it also has garlic in this one, so we're good with that. So we're just going to mix up the cheeses. And then all you do is make your typical lasagna where you layer it. And I got the oven ready lasagna from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to put the camera down so you can actually watch what I'm doing. And we'll assemble up this lasagna and we'll get it started. It says cooking time five hours on low. It serves eight people. So I'm going to read to you the uh, directions again. You're going to take Four and a half cups of your spaghetti sauce. Uh, if you want ground beef in it, go ahead, saute ground beef, put it in your spaghetti sauce. One 16 ounce container of ricotta cheese, two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. I didn't have that, I used cheddar. And then it calls for a cup of Parmesan cheese. I don't have that as well. And one egg. And two teaspoons of minced garlic and one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. All that goes in this bowl and you mix it up. And I'll show a picture here. I'll move the camera. And then you have your noodles, you have your spaghetti sauce, and you have your cheese sauce. And then you're going to top it with shredded cheese. Look at the book, close up shot of the book. This is really a good purchase. I got it used for probably only like $5 and that included shipping. Get your books used on Amazon. They're very, very reasonable priced.
So we're going to take a crock pot and we are going to put the sauce down first. So we're going to put a layer of the sauce on the bottom of the crock pot. And I see I made a mess. Oh, Tessie, Tessie, Tessie. I'm such a messy cook. And there you go, everyone. I know, it's not like Linda's pantry where everything's perfect. <laughs> okay, so let me tilt this camera a little better. All right, so we did a layer of the lasagna sauce. Now we're gonna get the noodles. These are oven baked ready so you don't have to parboil these noodles and we're going to put a layer of noodles in. Now you have to break your noodles in half to get the sides and then we're going to take a layer of the cheese Now, if you have the ricotta cheese, that's what you're supposed to use. My daughter used the cottage cheese, and she said it worked great. So, that's what we're going to do. Then we're going to do another layer of noodles. And then we're going to go and do another layer of sauce. be a perfect thing to make in the middle of the summer so you're not heating up your kitchen with a hot oven. All right then we're going to do one more layer. We're going to take some noodles. It's actually able to do quite a few layers this way and then I'm going to take the rest of the cheese And just try to spread it out a little bit like like that. The cheese isn't the easiest to spread. And then I'm going to take some more of the sauce. I'm going to see if I can fit one more layer of noodles in here. I'm thinking I can. A small layer. Just across the top. Actually, it makes. I am really shocked at how much this actually makes. Okay, so it was about a half of a box. I would estimate about a half of the box of the lasagna noodles. And then I'm going to take the rest of the sauce and pour it over the top. And that was two, I used two quarts of homemade sauce. It says four and a half cups, it goes by the cups. All right, so then we're, I'm gonna top it right away with cheese. They said you can wait. I'll probably add more cheese also. So you gotta understand, I love cheese. So we're just gonna put a thin layer of cheese now, and then when we're ready to serve, maybe 10 minutes before we're done serving it, we're gonna put more cheese. And I'm gonna do a little more of my spices, cause I love it. So my friends, look how pretty that lasagna looks. So we are going to put on the crock pot. It said low for five hours, but I am thinking this girl is hungry and I'm going to try and put it on high, maybe for an hour and then turn it back to low. So we'll see how it goes. And by the magic of the camera, right after this, you're going to see a hot lasagna dish that's sure to please and it's from the crock pot as well. Alright everyone, it's been about three and a half hours because I had it on high for half the time. The lasagna is finished. Ooh, looks good. So I'm just going to wait till Chevy Man gets home from work 
and then we're gonna sit down and have a really good meal. A little bit of some crusty Italian bread and a salad on the side. And this, Crock-Pot Wednesday, is fit for a king. See you tomorrow, bye.